Here's a tutorial on how to conventional barbell deadlift, followed by instructions on how to set up and break down your tools. Set up so you're standing with your feet right under your hips or shins parallel and your laces or the highest part of your foot right beneath the barbell. Before your first rep only, exhale fully till you feel a little bit of a brace in your belly and hang on to that tension. Reach down and grasp the bar right outside the pockets. Take a bracing breath into your belly and hold it. Create tension between yourself, the bar, and the floor by wedging yourself. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down or juice the lemons in your armpits. Let your knees flow over the bar as your chest opens forward. And then you're pushing the floor away. Stand the bar up fully without hyperextending through your back. And then let it down with control, exhaling that bracing breath as you do so. Here's another angle. This is a simple way to see where your shoulders should be when you finish your wedge. I'm getting my breath, I'm wedging, my shoulders are plumb lined directly above the barbell, and then I'm pressing the floor away. My hips and my shoulders are rising at the same time. A lot of times we can rush it and our hips will bump up first and then our shoulders will come and that puts a lot of pressure on the low back. Keep in mind that typically these cues are dripped out over a two to 20 week period of time depending on how if everything's ingesting so let's pick these listed here to start with and then these next ones as a secondary goals working on your deadlift all right on to set up and break down if you have a bar jack use it it is so handy you need a deadlift bar or any 45 pound barbell that is used for deadlifts in the space you're working in the only difference between a deadlift bar and a, and a power bar or a traditional bar is that the, the grippy stuff, the knurling, is a little more aggressive and the bar has a little more bend to it so that when you start picking up really, really heavy stuff, it gets a little uh, better slack in it. Bumper plates are necessary or starting with the giant 45 pound plates so that you're not bending too far down to pull the bar off the floor. So bumper plates are available in most gyms and they will be the same diameter as the big 45 pound plates but weigh a lot less like these I can't tell the screen is so tiny but they're less than 45 I think they're 25s once you're done with loading make sure you clip the barbell and unrack it get it out get the jack out of the way always always warm up with two to four sets before you start logging your working sets Typically, you want to start with a weight that's about halfway to your goal workload for the day, and you want to do it at least five to seven times, depending on how many reps you're doing during your workout, and then build up toward the working weight as you go. You can use the jack in between sets to change the plates out. Once you're done, make sure you put everything back the way you have it. If you don't have a bar jack, here's a handy way to do it. Straddle your barbell or straddle your weights, shuck them off, keeping your hand really close to the bar and then here's a nifty trick you're just gonna tip the bar on end with the other plates still connected but unclipped lift the bar out re-rack it and then put all your plates away where you found them like a good gym citizen all right go get it